today i want to create uh, a new jira service desk and the reason i want to create a new project is uh, because i want to test the integration of uh, jira service management i shouldn't say service desk and ops genie and i have talked about this of course in the past and i think i did few things but uh, i honestly i forgot what i did long back i think it was few months ago and i i'm i'm trying to now understand and make an effort to understand ops genie slightly better uh, so l- let us create a new project and uh, when, when you click on a new project and when i click on a new project uh, you use uh, on my old jira cloud instance i can now see the jira cloud or uh, these new templates like uh, the one that are now called as team managed or company managed i guess so let us go to the jira service management and uh, let us select <coughs> it uh, it service management and uh, use a template so we'll uh, quickly create a project testing ops genie okay and uh, create so when you create a new project i believe if i remember correctly it will give you an option where or i guess you will get an uh, get an account a jira service or not not jira service but ops genie account along with it and uh, when you create a new project now you have these options on the left hand side like services alerts on call now <clears throat> when you create a new project in jira service management it will give you it should give you some kind of uh, i guess a, a wizard to walk you through but not today but fine i, I i'm fine with it i'll try to explore it i'll pl- i'll try to uh, figure out what i can do so on the left hand side there is something called as uh, services alerts on call now if i click on services it will and it should take me to a place where i can configure different services now this is something that i, that I was not sure <coughs> apologies for my bad throat so yeah i was talking about uh, services services used in uh, setting up changes category show here these give more context about the change the risk involved and who is responsible so these services talking purely in terms of uh, it service management are these services uh, your business services i am not really sure uh, and a service tier indicates how critical a service is like okay let us select uh, tier 1 so i'll probably create uh, something like service tier 1 and uh, incident responder okay so you have to add uh, a team so i'll click on the team and now it will take me to to this ops genie interface where i can hopefully configure a new team and uh, i remember doing these things uh, <clears throat> previously but uh, recently some someone was asking me what how exactly ops genie work and uh, honestly i was clueless i do know that uh, now jira service management will uh, uh, and it it is now tightly integrated to ops genie but i thought i'll probably you know refresh my memory and and and, and of course i'm making a video so that i can also share my experience so let us add a team and uh, this is the very first time uh, very first time we are looking at ops genie so okay so what shall we name this team as so service or maybe we'll, maybe we'll just name it as the team 1 huh. let us not not let us try not to be creative okay search members can i find myself yeah i can see myself which is a good news do i have anyone else maybe i'll add uh admin i i i, I don't think i have a lot of other users so uh, this user should be an admin because i want i i like being an admin so we have a new team and uh, well, let us go back and the moment you create a new team it will give you some options like uh, routing rules team 1 underscore escalation and uh, add a rou- rou- routing or routing rules whatever you want to call it okay routing rule 1 okay match all alerts all right restrict to time intervals no i don't want to restrict then route using escalation schedule 
okay t1 escalation i am probably not sure what i'm doing here but i think uh, it will do it will probably do some escalation and what exactly escalation means i i, I have no idea so <clears throat> i guess it is something like uh, maybe who will get notified i guess so maybe maybe you can define the criteria like if you receive a high priority ticket from someone someone important and uh, you don't respond to the ticket on time or maybe the sl is about to breach then escalate it i guess something like that so add escalation okay so we already have one escalation but uh, i guess we can also add uh, one more escalation 2 okay okay so escalation and the rules are linked to each other i guess if alert is not acknowledged in 30 minutes then notify user or 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 or, or notify admins of the team okay so basically uh, it will let you do something why yeah i can find my team okay so save add <clears throat> so we have on call and then uh, I, i think team is so team itself means that you know there is a team of people and within that team you can have these uh, these uh, these escalation rules now looking at integrations um i have no idea how these integrations work but of course i'll find out i, I add integration so let us add a new integration i'm just following the wizard or this online thing and before i add a new integration i'll probably uh find uh i'll probably create a service in from from jira service management okay so api email webhooks aws so there are a lot of things actually and it looks interesting but do i want to spend time right now rest api https over json okay so add and uh, Opsgeni web API allows you to interact and integrate with Opsgeni from any source using REST full architecture. Okay, that is good to know. So basically, you can have this API key, and uh, I will probably uh, not do it right now. Don't worry about uh, the API key, and I'll I'll just cancel it. Uh, we will will of course take a look at Opsgeni later in deep. Uh, like we'll do a deep dive. I'm not really sure how. and what all we can do with opsgeni uh but because opsgeni is now part of atlassian atlassian suite of applications tools i guess i should know it at least uh, some basics so we'll we'll go back to the services and uh, let me add a service let us add uh, the service in uh, jira service management and uh, tier 1 responder team 1 change approvers i think uh, these are nothing but you know groups and uh, repository so you can also link it to a repository do i need to link it to a repository like i think these are the reposit like this, this is like my my repository from bitbucket which is coming on its own because i'm i'm logged in using the same account which is a bit weird but, but maybe maybe there is a reason so there is a service id which i'm not really sure if uh, i need to show it to everyone but uh, it is anyway it's not a complete id so don't worry about it so add a relation so create a service structure by defining your services and uh, relationships between them what exactly is a relation okay depends on something like that let us uh, now take a look at the let us go back to opsgeni okay opsgeni let me click on it and uh, i'm looking at opsgeni i think uh, second time in my uh, like since it was launched and uh, <clears throat> the, the the moment you click on the opsgeni it, it will basically show you the list of uh, all the alerts and if you click on create alert i think it will create an alert for you but will probably go back to jira and okay so it will probably you know it, it is basically these, these are with these alerts services and on call these are nothing but links to uh opsgeni uh but i guess uh, you don't have to worry about it and uh, what i'll do okay on call So on call is something which is now displayed within within the within the Jira service management project, and I guess it is nothing but some kind of a roster where you can define who, which resource or which agent will be there um, working 
um, maybe on a specific day or maybe in your week, uh, something like that, I guess. Uh, but the thing is that when you create a new issue, uh, there, there, is, there is something interesting which I noticed. Uh, like, l- let us create a new, uh, let us create a new, let us say something like report a system problem incident. It, it is a, it is an incident. Like, uh, maybe server is server is down and uh, we will maybe select components okay some something billing services whatever and uh, affected hardware no nothing i think uh, maybe urgency critical impact extensive severity one blah 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 and uh, and so on let us click on the create <clears throat> and when you create a new incident it will basically give you the option on the issue on the incident uh, page uh, or i should say issue view screen where you can uh, actually raise uh, an alert i guess for your uh, ops genie so I, so that is uh, but I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure yet how this will be linked to how how uh, this high priority incident will and can raise uh, uh, an alert or something in Opsgenie because Opsgenie can do a lot of things. I, I guess it can also send messages. I, I'm, I'm not really sure because I know tools like PagerDuty Duty can do it, but Opsgenie, I guess it can also do, do those things. So I'll take a look at this page. And if you look at this page here, uh, usually there is a button on top, which is not here right now. I'm not, I'm not really sure why, but usually there is a button on top uh, or maybe there is, yeah, there is. So it says create a major incident. Do I need to like collapse the sidebar? Oh yes, so I, so I need to collapse the sidebar. So it says create a major incident. And I believe when you do this, it will do something in Opsini, I guess. So impacted service, service one. Server is down, okay, that is the message and uh, priority. So you need to fill it, up, fill it up again. Okay, all right, I'll do it. I, I thought it will probably pick it up from the incident. Maybe I'm missing something. So when you do this, it will... Okay, new major incident created and a link to this incident. Okay, let us uh, take a look at the... Okay, so you, you can see here that there is some there is something. I mean, okay, it will take you to the... I want to see this timeline, view on timeline. What is this timeline view? I have no idea. It looks interesting. Okay, timeline for major incident. Okay, so you can actually see... Uh, the details like when this when when this incident was raised, and uh, team uh, like I guess all the updates, which is great, looks good. So there is a traceability of what is happening, <clears throat> and if you go to the alert, I can see message two alerts, and I guess uh, why two alerts? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe maybe it is because of some automation. I guess I I I'm I'm guessing. But uh, I'm trying to figure it figure it out myself. I, I think in the beginning, when you're trying to learn new tool, try to explore it, try to break it, try to you know get lost, uh, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, and Opsgenie is one tool which I never really used and uh, I never really helped anyone adopt. So that is why I'm uh, trying to learn, trying to force myself to learn this by of course uh, making a video also so that uh, i can share my journey but in case you know opsini better than me so far then uh, feel free to uh, help me out so l- let us click on the server is down and uh, and if i look at uh, the look at the details i guess it will now do something in opsini and uh, Okay, so we are now looking at Opsgenie incident. Server is down, description, impacted service, team one. It is uh, quite similar to your Jira. Open, so we have a status. <clears throat> Let us resolve it. Let us see what happens. But can we have workflows in Opsgenie? I have no idea. <laughs> so let us go back to the issue. The original Jira ticket. And uh, we have this uh, Opsgenie incident, uh, which is now resolved. But will it do something? in uh will it do something in 
So I think alerts are different. So I think we just have one issue, but alerts are probably, uh, I think both are for, for the same, same incident. Okay, let us go back to the, to the incident, original incident. And uh, apart from, of course, the linked issue, which will now show the update, updated status. Can it also update the status of the incident? I guess not. I'm just expecting it to do too much. But, but do we have, oh yeah, so we have this, uh, the linked major incident was resolved. Okay, automation for Jira. So we do have some automation. Update linked incidents. Okay. So something has happened. I mean, it has definitely transferred the information like uh, what happened when the uh, Ops Genie uh, incident was resolved. I think it will, it will basically, okay, so we have this resolved here. And uh, there is there is also one uh, comment. And uh, if you look at the timeline, it will display the result, I guess, uh, with this, uh, I don't see, okay, so incident resolved, server is down, responder alert, act, what is this? A-C-K-E-D, I have no idea. I think it's probably like some notification. And uh, it says the uh, one linked incident. Is it the Jira ticket or something else? Because we know it is linked. Yeah, it is a Jira ticket. Okay, all right. Okay, so I think uh, I think uh, what we have done so far is we have a service, we have a team, we have defined the roster or roster or the on-call schedule. We have the option to take a look at the alerts. And whenever you raise a ticket in Jira, uh, you can link it to major incident or you can basically link it to an incident in uh, in uh, Ops Genie. But uh, can can you raise this automatically? Let me just take a look at the automation rules. Like, do we have any automation rule which is doing something to add or to raise or link or do whatever with other Ops Genie ticket? I guess there is an automation, but... Uh, do we have the option to, do we have any, any, any way to modify it? Can I, can I go to the automation here or do I need to go to the automation rules like the global ones? Uh, not the global ones, but you know, the separate interface. So, okay. Okay. So we can go to the automation and, uh, let us see if we have any automation rule that is doing something that was created automatically. I have no idea. Jira cloud is. I, I always say this whenever I'm making a video on Jira Cloud, it is not the fastest for the free version. So, okay, so we do have some automation rules. And it says when change management request is created, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when low risk change management request, when deployment is complete, fail or cancel, then transition request accordingly. Let us take a look. Let us take a look at Okay, so what exactly is this doing? So I think this or this is a this automation is doing something within within uh, <clears throat> within the project. But I was hoping to see automation that will uh, do something maybe from Ops Genie. Do we? I, I I don't think we have those things yet. Maybe there is. Maybe um, let us see if we. I mean, can we do something from Jira to or to, or to Ops Genie? Let us say if you resolve your or, or make your issue to change your, change your issue status to done. Can you do something in Ops Genie? Let us see. No, there is no, there is nothing. Alert. I don't think so. So we have to figure out how this works. So I guess I'll probably end the video here. We have been talking for, we have been doing this for a long time and uh, I'll definitely force myself to learn Opsini and explore it further and of course as as always I'll share the update with all of you. So do let me know if you found this video useful and if you know Opsini more than what I know so far then please help me understand or please confirm if my understanding is correct or not. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.